Hello, hello. Today is Sunday, July 9th, 2023. I'm Laura. I'm Brenda. And welcome to our cross stitch talk. <laughs> yes, we have like, lots to talk about. Yeah, the table's full, so let's have some fun, shall yes. we? We are in here um, so that we have a little bit more room to spread out. Yes. So, mm -hmm. anyhow. Oh, notice our shirts. Oh, yes. <laughs> Aren't those cool? I love them. And the first thing my husband noticed is the stitch what you love. Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah. So they're but a little bit different. And I've got I ordered some more too. Oh, I'm going to be ordering yes. way more. And I have a sweatshirt. Laurel, yeah. show you hers. Yeah. What so. are we talking about? If you don't know yet. Yes. If you yes. don't we're know, diving in. Okay. Our <laughs> friend Barry at Stitch Folk. She's an Etsy shop. It's called Stitch Folk. She has a number of different shirts, sweatshirts, long sh long sleeve t-shirts um, with cross stitch stuff on them. Brenda says reproduction sampler stitcher. Yeah. Mine says cross stitcher. She's got bags yes. too. And you know how we love bags. Yes. So the bags have different things on them. All Just, of them very affordable. Yes. And... Yes. And, and high new, quality. Yes. The only thing that I did read in the fine print, not fine print, mm -hmm. but she suggests, the manufacturer suggests that when you wash them, you wash them inside out. Mm -hmm. Because the artwork is top notch. Yeah, it really I mean, is. Like, look at these two little needles here, you know. It's just amazing. I know. So. I'll have to tell Mike that. Yes. Because he does the laundry. Oh. Well, I'll tell myself that. All right. <laughs> also, I got a sweatshirt that has the same thing that Brenda's shirt has on it. Yeah. There's so many different and choices, and the sizes are pretty true, mm -hmm. to. I got you a, know. an extra, extra large. So yes, that's mine. Yeah. I don't like it tight, you know. No. No. And what I learned today was Brenda does not like hoodies. That's too much around her neck. So she got a regular sweatshirt. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, oh, I now yeah. printed and, off some pictures. Yes. And Barry just showed some new things this morning that were really cool. Yeah. So, so I mean, this stuff is so fun. Yes. All different colors, short sleeve, long sleeve, sweatshirts, the whole thing. Yes. Yeah. And you, what you do is you go to her Etsy shop and you pick everything from there. And it ships third party. Um, and you get a notice, just like if Barry were shipping you something. So, it's very, very cool. And fun! Yes. Okay, so... Thank you, Barry. Thanks. Yeah. A wonderful... And I'm really not playing with myself, but... <laughs> oh, God. I just if love... somebody just takes that little... Okay. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. Oh, for crying Lighten out. Up. Lighten up, people. Lighten up, Francis. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Well, we'll be wearing these to any retreat we go to. Yes, for Ad sure. Ad nauseum. Sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. Mm -hmm. so. so, that's exciting. Yes. All right. What else? I wanted to just, I want to talk about, I've got a list, list. here. Excellent. And we've been gone three weeks. We had a nice long weekend last weekend because it was the 4th of July weekend. Mm -hmm. We had Monday off. Mm -hmm. It was just great weekend to be home yeah because that's what laura and i love to do yeah. mm -hmm. be home mm -hmm. and in that time i watched a lot of uh floss tubes and i'm just going to mention in no particular order ones that really inspired me and um i've been all over the place i'm going to get to that when we go over our whips and all that kind of stuff but these just really popped out at me so let's 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 see. hear about it let's hear about it okay first in this is the top one that I have is Lori Holt's floss tube because she hasn't done one for six months. Mm -hmm. That woman never sleeps and um, her stuff is so beautiful, so inspiring because of her creative, artistic, whatever, her changes. And her and sentimentalness. She, yes, and her willingness to share her conversions and you need to watch it. She has something for everyone, whether it be a sampler or a fun Christmas stitch or whatever. It's just amazing. Yeah. I watched it once and I started to watch it again because it's just so full of good stuff. It the, really is. Now, the other ones are in no particular order. Okay. Colorado Cross Stitcher, Sherry. 
beautiful beautiful finishes such great ideas again personalization um just off the charts Another and she's very soothing mm -hmm. to listen to. Another yes. thing about Sherry um, is you should sign up for her store newsletter. Yes. Because every week it comes out. And she's so clever and interesting. Like last week it was about, about 10 things that are different about cross-stitch now versus like in the 70s and 80s. Yes. And it was so interesting to read. So mm -hmm. um, what's the name of her shop? Colorado coloradocrossstitcher.com okay yes. yeah so yes. go there sign up for her newsletter and watch because it's so yes good. it's so good and she has these really cool i don't know where she got them i think no she told us they're ceramic letters that spell out stitch and they're colored they're really cool i i'd like oh, to find them. also i think tanya's going to that yes. shop for a, like a visit next and, saturday okay so go look that up but you could meet tanya from the scarlet house mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. Great. I would love to go to her shop sometime. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, uh, for me, Carol Saltbox is always, always full of inspiration. She talks about the spring green stitch camp this year. It was so good. Um, just, you know, Carol is mm -hmm. just inspiration abounds. Um, antique needleworkers, Liz and Shelly, they make me spend so much money. <laughs> Oh, that sounds interesting. So, if you haven't watched it, you're going to go... Have you watched it? I started their latest one, but okay. I'm not through the whole thing okay. yet. Well, there's something in there yeah. that you're going to go crazy for. Oh, yeah. Don't get it. Oh. So, all right. just telling you, don't order anything. Okay. Oh. Then, Karen, the recovering monogamous stitcher, she's just... Just got so many beautiful projects. She's so wonderful to listen to you know just great she's working on jane hopkins right yes yes she did a little short update which i haven't watched yet okay. um um katie stracken oh. is in a whole new or is in a whole different mm -hmm. cycle from me but she is still so inspiring and funny and encouraging and remember you asked me the other day if i was ordering the um santa stops here yeah i did oh god brenda <laughs> I'm like, are you going to order this? And she's like, no, I already have it kitted up with what, cotton? Yeah, I got it from the retreat. Mm -hmm. Oh, you were at that re Oh, you nut. I okay, know. that's fine, though, because then we can do it together. Yes. So, <gasps> anyways. Um, Grace, the Paisley Stitcher. She had not done one for a long time, and she did one last week. Hey, and by the way. Is that all Grace inspired? Oh, mm -hmm. good. A whole bag of Grace. You need to watch her. Grace, oh, boy. the Paisley Stitcher. She is just so articulate yes. and just wonderful, wonderful projects. Mm -hmm. Her history, um, trying to learn about this sampler she's working on. Just fabulous. It's amazing. It's such yes. a good floss, too. Yes. I, I told her, I think... It, I said it was like the ma ma getting a master's degree in floss tube or something. Yes. It was like really, really yes. great. She's very, very good. And then the last one you need to watch, she did a mid-year whip update. And, you know, she finishes 15 things in a week. And that's Kim, contented needleworker mm -hmm. Kim. Because mm -hmm. she takes a big sampler and will stitch a part of it something that she's going to do and finish and she finishes the things into clocks framing yeah. pillows yeah. whatever she's again just very creative takes threads from her stash but it was fun to watch her whip update because mm -hmm. she showed you the things that she's finished and it's amazing you don't and it gives you pause to think i don't have to do the whole sampler mm -hmm. you know she did eleanor par which is a huge scarlet letter reproduction and she just did a side of it that's mm. just these birds gorgeous gorgeous so go give her a follow or a look if you're not already so that was just that's some good. of them mm -hmm. some of them there's so mm -hmm. many more i could you know you could go on and on and on but those were the ones that popped out for these last three weeks cool so, anyhow okay well, All right. You want to see what I've been stitching? Yes, I want to see. Okay. Here's my July so far. 
And yeah, I like that little backpack there. I know. I can't remember where I got that. That's cool. Um, because I'm backpacking all the time. <laughs> okay. So, in no particular order. Okay. We shall see what I've been working on. Okay. This one, we got at summer school years ago. Oh, Lord. I think we got it the year that we had the best table ever. Anyway, I'm not sure. But this is a summer garden sampler by Needlework Press. Mm -hmm. I love that. Every time I see it, I go nuts. And I had a small start. I had, like, the green part of the border all the way around done, which is unique because I never do that. So I don't know how that happened, but... You were channeling Carol. Yes. Must have been that at that time. And it's done with um, classic color works, over dyed cottons. Uh, and I'm doing it on some kind of XJU design. I, I don't know which one. And that's how far I got. Oh, that's very pretty. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. And our light's really good. That's really coming across really well. Yeah. Right there. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, very fun. Very fun here. Thank you. If you want to see the finish of this, oh Lord, here. Um, Preb 409, Trisha yeah. finished it. And yeah. um, it's beautiful. Yeah. On Instagram. Yeah. Okay, then on I think it was Fourth of July I worked on this. A Lady, a Gent, and Time Well Spent by mm. Mary Wynn Farms, which I love because mm -hmm. it's a unique, weird sampler. And I just Pretty much did that oh, bird pretty, and that guy. And I like that color. Isn't it cool? Yeah. I mean, that pink I wouldn't yeah. pick, but that's what it is, so I'm just going with it. I think it looks good on that fabric. Yeah. So that's fun. And I got this at Hobby House one time. One time. I've only been there one time, haven't I? Yeah, we've only been there once. <laughs> Okay. Feels like we've been there for yeah. more than that. Oh, you know what I use for the DMC? Remember these cards you got on yes. Amazon? Yeah. Oh, I love them. Look how yeah. fun that is. Whee! Yeah, these are thread cards that you can get on Amazon, and they're very inexpensive. Yeah, you got like a ton of them. Yes, for like less than $20. I think yeah. it was less than 10 And you but... gave me a stack, and mm -hmm. I gave my mom some, too. Yeah. And then I just wrote in pencil on the back. Oh yeah, what not you know what mm -hmm. DMC number it is? And they're hard. They're not like yeah. flimsy. They're I nice. love this. It's so yeah. fun. Yeah, something different. Mm -hmm. Very well, look at exciting. You. I know. I know. Okay, here's what I worked on mostly before. Then I got onto another thing, but you know, you know how that goes. Okay, this is a new. Oh, sampler. I, I bought this. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. By Krista Gramer of Just Stitching Along. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you got the hard copy? Yeah, I got ooh. the hard copy. Yeah, I couldn't wait. I had to get the PDF because yeah. I was like, ooh, I'm hot on this one. I love this. It is so cool. I want to see how you Okay, so I'm doing it on 40 Count Spice by Number 12 Stitch Co. Mm. Uh, and using the DMCs. And... Here's where I am. Oh, wow. That looks really good. I mean, this really is a good. seriously cool sampler. Um, how many DMCs are there? Um, two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Oh, and you even have I them did on this. Hers? Yes. These are actually, these, that's Jane Hopkins. Yes. And these floss drops came when we were all doing the floss drop trading. Okay. And they're from Laura, who on Instagram is Sundays on Rose. Okay. And she sent us, remember those cool floss drop boxes? Oh, yes. Oh, you know, how do you remember all oh, this? So, I, I don't can't. know. I remember that one only because I Instagram FaceTimed her the minute I got her package or something. <laughs> so I remember. I still have that, my um, box downstairs. Yeah. Of course. Okay. What's in here? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, this is to discuss with that. Oops, don't shake the thing or spill Watch anything. The pop. the pop still has its label on it. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's lit. Yeah. I don't know why, but sometimes I get nervous when we're talking. Like, I gotta hurry I up. And I have don't. Got to... Let's. We need to, like, <sighs> slow 
slow it down. I know because Don't be after so watching girl. Grace, yes, she's so well spoken. And she doesn't like yes. hurry. No, she takes her time, so you feel confident in her. Yes, unlike you know me biffing around here, faffing oh, around, faffing about. <laughs> okay, I've loved this for a long time, and I, I said, that. and I've been collecting the hundred threes, but you know you can't. Sometimes they're out of one or the other. Anyway, this is Mary Goodwin, 1798 from Hands Across the Sea. Is that the one that you needed? This is okay. the one. So what happens is I started her mm -hmm. on, I pulled out some uh, very coveted Lakeside 40 count vintage straw flower. Because you need a half, almost a half yard. Yes. For this. 21 by 22. Yeah. Ask Brenda how she knows. I will find out in a minute. <laughs> okay, so I was going to just go great guns on this, but that's all I got done because... Why? Well, the next color I need is one I don't have. Oh, okay. Is that in there? I hope so. Okay. We'll check. Um, so, and then I didn't feel confident enough just to go around with the green because I needed that other flower in here to check, keep checking and cross-checking, you know? Mm-hmm. So I came to a halt, Okay, but Brenda to the rescue. More about that later. And I have her in my Lou and Sue bag, and I put my cool 103s in here. I like that. Isn't that fun? If they, if um, Susan and Lou do that again, yeah, I want to get one of those because I'd love the Scotty dog on there. Oh, okay. Well, I got news for you. This is... Um, limited out of print fabric but guess what you have some i was straightening up and i found some of this so what i will do is i will get us bags made so that you'll have the scotty dog oh, of this thank okay you. thank you yes you're welcome thank you yeah i couldn't believe it i was like because this fabric it's by american jane was on the quilt that janet made for me and then I found some in my stash of maybe probably when we went to Shishawana. Yeah. And, you know, this is, speaks my language. And so, yeah, I was like, oh, I, didn't, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't even know I had that. Yeah, I, I love it because of the Scotty dog. Yeah. I mean, I love it. Not as much as you do, but mm -hmm. the Scotty dog, you know, it's classic. Oh, that goes in there. Yes. So I'm going to fix that. Okay. Then we have this cool bag, and I'll tell you who it's from in a minute. Okay, this is my latest obsession. And I got a story and everything. <laughs> okay, this bag is from Stonehouse Stitching and Etsy. All one word, Stonehouse Stitching. It's really cool. Okay, but I got it a long time ago, so I don't know if she still has that fabric. Okay. This is AKGIT 1833 of Verlander. Your Lander Sampler by Modern Folk Embroidery. Okay, so Jacob did a video when he, and he showed this, the antique, and I went ape. And I then ordered the, the hard copy from evertote.ca, and I ordered the specially dyed cotton floss that Jacob worked with them on, and it's also called Verlanda. Here's my mini Hank. That looks like a big Hank. I know. I don't know why they call it mini, mm -hmm. but it's by Roxy Floss Co. Okay, so when I first got it, I looked at this and I was like, that's brown. I don't want to stitch with brown because in my head I thought it was going to be black. Okay, but don't, don't worry. Everything worked out. Okay, so then I found out that Katie Strachan was bit by this bug also. And she had started hers on 5360. Sicilian marzipan. Oh, thank you. I with, watched her video. Okay. With um, some silk that's kind of a black gray. Yeah. Oh, seven, nine. Yeah. Good. So once I saw hers, I had that in my head. And none of the stuff that I had available to me was matching that look. Except for there was one... I brought it over to Brenda's last week, and I said, which one of these works with this? She picked one that worked, 
but it didn't have enough. It was said it was a fat half, but it wasn't really. So then I was like, oh. Then I found out that Karen Kirk of Fox and Rabbit, she was gonna be stitching it too. And she had gotten the mini Hank. So then I was like back on track. Then one day I was driving home and talking to my mom on the phone and I was telling her about this conundrum of like, I have this in my head and it's gotta be like Katie's. And my mom's like, you know what? You, whatever you pick that you love, you'll love it just as much as Katie loves hers. It doesn't have to be like, exactly like Katie's. Good words of advice. Yeah. And then Karen said, well, of course it doesn't have to be like Katie's because none of us are ever going to achieve that level of greatness. I'm like, yeah, you're right. So my mom, her words really resonated with me because I was like, yeah, I, and in my head I saw it on a, like a goldish linen mm -hmm. kind of, so it would look like that. Mm -hmm. So then I went through my stuff and I found, no, I can't remember what the name of it is. Ah, that's so funny. Oh, here it is. I know I, it's, oh yeah. It's 40 count, just the ticket by Tabby Cat. Oh. Which I had, kudos to past me who bought a fat half at Hobby House last time I was there, the first time I was there. So um, I started it and while the uh, thread looks very brown when it's all together, when you're just stitching, it it looks black brown. And yeah. I'm happy. Oh, good. So, oh, that looks nice, Laura. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. And oh. I stitched on this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wow. And I'm kind of obsessed. That's what Katie's, Katie is. Yeah. Yes. I'm obsessed. And she's got like the big... One first of the big three first lives. Thing. Yes. Yes. Yep. And almost the second one done. So I'm going to go home and work on that tree today. But okay. Isn't that I like that color. They, it looks the, good. Like this linen. Mm -hmm. And great words of advice from Nancy. Yeah. Like you just have to do take, you. Yeah. Take a leap and do it the way that looks good to your eye. And you can't mm -hmm. compare it to somebody else's, even though it's very difficult when you see somebody else's that you think is better. But in the end, I'll be very happy with this, and I'm having such a fun time stitching it. So, good. I am excited. Oh, and I'm keeping my mini Hank in this cute tote bag that we got one year at summer school from Needlework Press. Yeah. So that's fun. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna like manage this. Am I gonna cut lengths? And you know, what am I gonna do? Who knows, yeah. but right now it's all just goes right in there, and it's fun. Yeah. Perfect. So, you could cut lengths and put them on um, so one of those um, thread things from Kelmscott. Yeah, I know. That would be, that very would be really fun. Nice. You know, a little bit at a time. Yeah. Exactly. Very pretty. Yeah, so that's, I'm excited about that. Uh, my whole theme is going to be, as you'll see as we go, go along, is baps. Big ass pieces. Because, the, like, everything I'm attracted to lately is huge. I think your mom's words of advice are so good. I'm going to come back to that because, you know, when you see things on Instagram and social media, you think, oh my God, I got to do that. I got to do that. And sometimes you just have to take a step back mm -hmm. and do what you want to do that'll make you happy and yeah. forget about exactly what someone else has done. And so. this kind of brings me to thinking about it took me at least a week or 10 days to settle into this idea mm -hmm. of what I was going to use. And that reminds me of Susan Stanley, who said she's being very thoughtful about, you know, the thread she uses and the linen. I mean, she's like thinking about things. You know, mm -hmm. I'm such a willy nilly. I got to start it now. Right. And, you know. Right. Right. <sighs> I just got to take a step back. And mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. It was a very good lesson all the way around. Yes. Yes. So that's what I've been working on. Okay. Let me move this out of your way. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, I have, um, I've been kind of all over the place for, and I'm really um, disappointed in myself. I will tell you that because I have not finished just one piece to be framed this year, which is, for me, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. 
for me, I feel, what the hell have you been doing? Well, I stitch most every day for at l probably two to three hours a day. I don't do the morning stitch anymore, but at night, mm -hmm. I do. I don't know. I'm all over the place. So I'm going to pull out some things that I have stitched and worked on and some things that I need to get finished before the end of the year. Okay. So, but you've been having fun with your stitching, Yes. Right? Yes. But I seem to be um, going from one thing to another. Oh, welcome and to my world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, that's just not me. That's I know. you. I know. And mm -hmm. I feel like you're whatever. Not, yes. You're all kaflooey. Yes. So here's my, my June. And then I stickered up July. Oh, nice. I got these really cool stickers from Northumberland House. Oh, yeah, those Aren't are cool. those really cool? Mm -hmm. so, They're like sampler stickers, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, so what have I been working yeah, on? Yeah, let's see. Well, I finished this. I don't think, I That's think I had sweet. it almost oh, finished. Oh, get out of here. Um, this is the companion to the other one I did. Mm -hmm. And it's this set free pin key. I scattered seed samplers. Yes, I'm looking. I, we're facing the backyard, and my husband's on his phone out there, and he's talking to someone. Yes, but he's like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so here it is. Oh, so, I love it. I will send this to Joy. Um, I have something else almost done that I will send to her. I have this one, the one that's very similar in shape to it that I finished. Mm -hmm. And then I have something else that I'm almost done with. And I totally pulled a you. Um, so that's the first one. Love. Here. Then the second one. I got this nice project bag that's from The Missing good. Needle. Nice. And inside. Blackbird. Blackbird. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Very cool. Mm, that's neat. Anyway, so what, I, what have I done? Well, let me show you. Okay. This, see that, the sampler drum? This is by Hobby House Press, so it's exclusive to Hobby House Needleworks. They're doing several smalls before they release the sampler, the antique sampler. So I was like, I love this. It's beautiful. Love it. So I got it kitted. It calls for um, cotton thread. Weeks and classic color works. So I've got it here. These are the colors. And at first, when I started it, I thought, ha, huh, this is boring. That's just honestly, because yes. the muted colors. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then I got going. And oh, I'm gorgeous. to the end here, but I still have another bird. This is on Thornfield by oh. Needle and Flash. Does that come with the kit? Yep. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. So look at that. Mm -hmm. Those colors that it's just amazing. So this is 40 count Thornfield. You buy it as a kit. Head over to Hobby House right now. I don't know how long they will have them as kits. And then you have to stitch the top. I can't show you really. Um, there's the top of the drum right there. Cool. So you have to stitch that. So I will finish this up and then send it off to Joy. I think the idea of having a sampler, some smalls all together, I like that idea. Oh, see, that's, I was like, my thought was like, oh, I'm just going to wait for the sampler because that's, but that's a good idea. You should. It's like the door cheese. Yeah. Um, by Hands Across mm -hmm. the Sea, the two samplers mm -hmm. and then that pin cushion mm -hmm. that Nicola designed. So Kathy's really done a great job. And you can get it. There's no over one. So you can get Ada. Mm -hmm. You can get all different kinds. So head over to Hobby House and get this stat while they yeah, have them I think I available. Mm -hmm. So I worked on that. Um, as soon as it came, I dropped everything and worked on that. Okay. So then I saw... Here we go again. This, mm. You know, your phone is great and your worst enemy, <laughs> you know. It's a time suck. Mm -hmm. But I saw on there, um, 
an Instagram and Kimball something. I can't remember. I apologize. Anyways, she was working on a sampler by the Wishing Thorn, the Tinsdale Sisters. Mm -hmm. Well, she finished her the one yesterday, and I'm going to find... Um, can you look for it um, mm -hmm. here? It's, Did you save it? No. Okay. Let's see. Anne Kimball. Right here. Oh. Oh, that's her new thing. Hold on. Hold, please. Hold, please. Here it is finished. Anne Kimball Stitches. And here it is. Mm. Beautiful. Now, let me tell you what's so great about this sampler. Um, did I bring it in here? I hope so. I hope so, too. Well, it's not in any of those. No. No, it's in a berry bag. Oh. Um. Are you kidding me? Okay. Do you want to go get it? Yes. Okay. She's going to go get it. Talk amongst yourselves. She's going to go get it, and it. I'm going to tell you some stuff yeah. that I wanted to tell you. Okay. Hobby House Needleworks is having a retreat. October 4th through 6th. It's the Primitive Needle Arts Primer. The people that are going to be there are listed in this picture. And those are some big names. Stacy Nash, Kathy Barrick, Maggie Bananami, Liz Matthews, personal friend of mine, uh, Teresa Miller, Beth Seal, and Leanne Van Lyon. Uh, there are still seats available for this. And I think if you are in the slightest interested, yeah. you should try and go to this because a lot of time, a lot of times Hobby House sells out, but this one isn't sold out. So go to their website yeah. and you can check out the price and everything. And this would be very cool. Yes. I mean, those people are a knockout flying of people. Yes. And I would be going except I have, uh, let's see, between August and November, I have one, two, five retreats. Naughty. Okay. Did you okay. find it? I found it. Okay. Sitting where I left it. Okay. Okay. So then I decided to pull out this. that because that's what it is. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Now, you can get it as a PDF. You can get it as a hard chart mailed to you. Or you can get the kit, which is what I did originally. Well, when I saw that she was going to stitch this... I was just in the mood to stitch something totally different. And this is totally different because mm -hmm. it's on 32 count. Mm -hmm. And here's my progress. I have to have a ooh, neato thing on the back here. Aren't those? This is on Vintage Country Mocha. I love it, and the reason why I love it so much is because it uses this flower thread, 100% cotton flower thread. It's um, charted for DMC, Ooh. and it's charted for flower thread, and there's two or three things in here you can do, but I got it kitted with flower thread. So that's one strand. One strand. On 32. Yeah. It's real plump and beautiful. I love this. I stitched with flower thread. DMC used to have a flower thread years ago. And I think I've stitched with Jenny Thompson. Her daughter, Meg Chanel, is running it now. I don't, I think Jenny has since passed away. But I love these. Love, fun to stitch with. It is, and this is just hitting every box right oh, now. Oh, that's good. These are the colors. I'll try to hold them up. So this is what you've been working on most recently? Yes. Yes. And you know what? It's just something different. Um, and 32 count, it doesn't matter. You can't do a larger count because you wouldn't be able to use this thread. Mm -hmm. um, but it's fun. It's easy. I still need magnification just because yeah. that's the way it is. Mm -hmm. But it's super simple. The colors, it just all really pops on there. So, you know me. Go big or go home. Mm -hmm. So, I 
love this. And I'm so glad that I saw Anne start hers, so on and so forth. So then, oh, <laughs> now I just made out what this box is. Then I decided this is just fantabulous. Mm -hmm. So I went to the Jenny Thompson flower thread website. Oh, this is, this is, I love this. And I ordered them all. You are a genius. So, and what the best thing is, is that it comes with a conversion from DMC to flower thread. You know, you could do so many things with this. If you have like a simple marking sampler that you want to do. Oh, yes, 28 you count. Yeah, you, you can pick, pick the colors. And you can pick the colors. You can pick all red or whatever. They also sell them individually. They're very affordable. Did they um, come in this box? Yes. <gasps> it came just like this. Do you think I'll like them? You know, with them? I'll I think you might. Um, they're just, there's 40 yards mm -hmm. on a This um, is all thing. the colors they have. This is all the colors. That's cool. But you could do, what I'm thinking is a marking sampler would be great. Mm -hmm. Also, the D, um, Prairie Schooler Santas, because they're so... Um, very few colors. Would that not look cool? Oh, that would. Jenny Thompson flower thread. That is so, that box of thread is so exciting. That's cool. So, I love it. Forget. That's how you say her name, right? Birgit. 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 Anyhow. It's just wonderful. I think that Sometimes you need to step out of your box, you know. I did 32 all the time, years ago. And I did all the cut work and pull work and all that stuff. And the 40 count, which I will never give up. But sometimes it's just nice to change things up a bit. And this has struck a chord with me. Really? And that's cool. Then there's this one, the I Jane love Parsons that sampler. sampler. Now, this isn't done with flower thread, but it's done with this wool. Avasan wool silk. It's some kind of special one. That's all I'll leave it at. But this is going to be another thing that'll be just fun to do. It's on 28 count, easy peasy. Um, wonderful. That's exciting. Can and you then, oh, this is the one. Remember I, when I got this box? I won't show it because the last time I showed it, I showed my address. Oops. Oops. Then there's this one. Ooh, the Eliza Jane Smith sampler. Oh, say. That you can get all kitted with the flower thread and some swatage. I'm going to guess this is 32 count. I didn't open it. Anyhow. Ooh. That's just exciting. Think outside the box. You can or you don't have to or, be like me and order the whole thing. Yeah. But you can go to her website, pick out some colors. There's a conversion I think on there and try it. It would be great for a, like a red marking sampler. It would be just something fun to try. Um, one of those kitten stitcher red samplers. Oh yeah. It would be so much fun. So and that that is exciting. So. Very cool. That is what I have worked on recently. But last time, I didn't show some of the stuff I had worked on. Um, so we're going to go back a couple weeks. Let me see. Um, this. I also worked on, this is Every Opening Flower. My daughter just came home. I can hear her pounding upstairs. <sighs> that. And then it is stitched. Oh, pretty. I, I did quite a bit of this. This is, um, there it is right there. That's the bottom of it. Um, several people have finished and framed this, and I really like their choice of frames. So, I need to get back to this. This is on 40 count. Mm, Stage clay. No, it's Open a 40 count. 
um, Seraphim. Oh. I think it's like old stationery maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but I worked on that. And then I worked on, not recently, this was a couple weeks ago. Yeah. I'm just going to drop that down there. Then I pulled out, this was, a, unfortunately, these are done. This is an exclusive from the Homespun Needlework group on Facebook and you had to be a member there and then you could order it from Hobby House and it's done. You can't get it anymore. But it will be released probably in a year. Yeah. Yeah. So that's this one, which what's not to love. Mm -hmm. It's by Wildst Iris Snaps. Yes. It's beautiful. I mean, two red houses. Mm -hmm. uh, I love it. It's done on Thornfield. Rachel's been a busy, busy girl. So... Hello. <laughs> These are the colors. And this is my teeny tiny start. Wow. <laughs> so it's at a it's gonna be big. This that looks is like 40 one of my pounds. starts. Yeah. Same time I'm channeling Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this is Thornfield. So well, at least you have it started now. You can just go back to it whenever yeah. you want. Yeah, this is when I wasn't doing anything with the silk because of my fingers mm. and all that now. So, so. Put that in. Yeah. And then what's in here? Oh, this one. I just want to be held accountable for this. <laughs> okay. This is my Lou and Sue bag. This was the one they did to for, in memory of Linda Wallace. This is by Barry. This is from Barry, mm -hmm. and this folio, and I have the project bag as well, is in memory of Linda Wallace. And these are all the silks in there. And, oh, Lord. Oh. This oh. is something that old Brenda would not have allowed to happen. But. Oh, my gosh. I want to start this. It's almost done. I've got that deer over there. Mm. <sighs> that is gorgeous. I need to get this done. Yeah. Into a framer. Yeah. So this, this also was an exclusive. It it's was at Hobby House. I don't yes. think they have it anymore. No. no. Lawrence Mary Dickinson, which goes to show you if you want something, you better get it when it's yes. available. Yes. Cause I don't know if Nicola will release them at a later date or Hopefully, she will keep but them. I don't know. Um, exclusive to that shop. I don't know. I, mm. I don't know. Because she has done exclusives like with traditional stitches and needlework, needle in a haystack mm -hmm. and the attic. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Keep your eyes peeled. Anyways, that's where I've been stitching. Okay. So, what are you going to work on today? Tinsdale. Oh, the okay. With flower the flower thread. thread. Okay. I just, it's just so rhythmic and just. Uh, Sounds fun. It is. It is. Is that the only thing fun. that the Wishing Thorn has kitted up with flower? Th no, you showed another one. So yes. So there's that, at least two, right? Yes. And okay. um, I mean, you, again, you could look at any sampler that is, does not have a lot of color changes because the flower thread, they have a like 140 colors or something versus DMC is 500. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's cool. But you could do a red sampler. Yeah. Try it. Yeah. Get, I, I think, I think, don't hold me to it. I think each card, 40 yards is a dollar 45. So. Okay. And Ginny Thompson was one of the original, um, cross stitch, um, Mavens. Yeah, you know, the one that regenerated the art mm. back in the 80s. Mm, cool. And she published a book. It's called Linens and Stitches. And I still have that book oh, from cool. back then. So, yeah, she was a big deal back then. So, anyhow. Very exciting. That's that. Okay. That's all I've been stitching on. And then I've got some haul and okay. we've got some gifts. And I don't know what else you have. I got some stuff. Okay, well, good. Okay, so. Oh, I like this. We were talking about Grace Paisley Stitcher. Yes. On uh, 
I made her a sign. Oh, ooh, Grace, <laughs> you got a sign. Go to YouTube and Instagram, but definitely YouTube and watch Grace's latest video and then watch all of them because yes. it's just so this whole bag here is inspired by the video that grace just did okay <laughs> so one of the things she was talking about is this saxony sampler by ggr then she showed some finishes by ggr and some more charts and i about lost my mind and I, I love GGR charts, and I want all of them. And they're just oh, just amazing. So then yes. I went through my stuff, and I was like, ah. The attic can get you most of the GGR charts. And um, I think mo all of them call for either DMC or um, overdyed cottons. Mm -hmm. But the attic has also done lots of conversions for silk. So mm -hmm. if you're interested in GGR, check the attic okay so here's a sampler that when I first saw it I was like that's not my bag baby but now it is my bag baby it's the betrothed and Grace showed her finish of this and it was just amazing and then I I don't know how I knew this but I Jean was working on it Jean from the attic so I texted Jean I'm like oh we got to pull out our betrothed and I pulled mine out and boy, what a start I had. It's just ridiculous. Where is it even? On your bed sheet. Yeah. There. There's my start. So sometime this week, I'm going to be working on this. Oh, that reminds me. Another thing my mom said about AKGIT, you know, the Beerland sampler. She said, you have to work on it at least one day a week. Like, keep it next to you, and one day a week, keep working on it. So I'm going to try and do that. That's good advice, Which, and Nancy. It's, yeah, it was good advice. And also, it's like, it's not like every Monday. You have just some no. time in that week. Right. Don't limit yourself yeah. to rules. As yeah. Carol said before, she breaks her own rules. She oh, doesn't like to be in too. charge of herself. So, yeah. So this is the betrothed, and it's, it's so cool. What we were, Grace and I went to Bristol, and we were mm. privileged to see the sam the original of this from Vicky. Vicky at Needlework Press now owns it, and it was done on paper, perforated paper. Perforated. <laughs> it was incredible, incredible. Was it? Yeah, it had lost, you know, over the yeah. years. But um, I know Vicky will obviously take good care of it mm -hmm. and maybe she'll even get it framed um it was just incredible another thing about ggr charts is her charting is so good yes. and easy to read yes. so you know you just never worry about that no okay oops help Oh, this is a Belinda bag. Yeah. I love her bag. I know. That's why well, hopefully we'll have make that Scotty bag. Oh. So, okay. you know, we, at Blue Ribbon Designs on Etsy, you can send her fabric. We'll check with her first, but you can send her fabric and then she'll make it into a bag. Mm hmm. Okay. This is. Oh, yeah. This is. I forgot what. Oh, Red Girl Spinning or Wool or something. Exactamundo. The lady in red spinning her wool. Is that not cool or what? And one thing about Gigi's charts is it's the um, antique. antique on the front. Mm -hmm. And to see them in person, to see Grace show these, we're like, oh. Yeah. Oh. This I got a uh, cross wing collection fabric when I was at the, the attic. attic one time. Mm -hmm. So I started that on that. Oh, that's so pretty, Laura. Yeah. Is that the um, overdyes? Yes, it is. Cotton oh, overdyes. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So that's another one. Oops, I'm really oh. making you work today. No, that's okay. I'll Thank you. I love this fabric. Yeah. I, I don't think... know that you can get that anymore. Yeah. I haven't seen it there. I think they like hand paint it or something. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Here's a bag that I got from Jan from Texas. When we went to our fabulous February, February retreat. Yes. Okay. Jan is, the two Jans were awesome. This is Bridget Power 1840. And 
The reason that I got it is because at that February retreat, Tanya had finished it and showed it to us. And it's chartered for DMC, and that's what she did it in, and it was just amazing. And Grace showed hers mm -hmm. as well. And it's yes. just done. Look at my start. Oh. And oh. No, it's just okay. ridiculous. Now, wait, I want to go back to that. Mm -hmm. Go. What you could also do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not a fan of any of this stuff down here <laughs> at all. Any of that malarkey? No. No. And I just, but you could do this gorgeous mm -hmm. vase of flowers. Yeah. And it is spectacular. Good idea. So, anyways. Okay. Here, I'll give you that. Okay. Okay, then we have, oh my gosh. We, Brenda and I have had this since we started floss tubes. And neither one of us have finished this. This is we a shiny one. Started. I haven't either. I mean, it's ridiculous. Yes, Also, it is. I was supposed to start it. It was for my friend Ellen's birthday. Yeah, so and she finished it. Yeah. Mm. So did Grace finish it. Okay, what are we talking about? Mary Griffiths, 1873 by GGR. This is, I mean, we have loved this for a long time. And it's a Welsh sampler. And you know, my favorite samplers are Welsh, Scottish, and Dutch. I've decided that. I'm going on record. Okay. <laughs> And this is so beautiful. Oh. And, you yeah, know, it's turned for color. overnight cottons, you know. But we got uh, the Attic's conversion to silks. And we've got all the silks. Mm -hmm. Gloriana, no less. Oh, my gosh. Now, now, now that I'm thinking about it, it's like I've seen some things charred with Gloriana, and I'm like, no, I'm not, I can't. Now, look at all this. This needs to be started this year. Mm -hmm. Damn it. I agree. I mean, seriously. I think my hold up on it yeah. was the fabric. I didn't know what fabric to oh. choose because it's charted for weeks, beige. That's not something I'm going to use. No. But what, you know, we could just do a floss toss on. We've maybe, got so much linen. Maybe Jean could give us an advice of what we could use. Um, yeah. What fabric we could use because we probably have it. Or if not, we could certainly I'm buy sorry. it from her. Yeah. Okay, I'll deal with this. Or no, you will. Thank you. That's a big mess. That is criminal. That is. That we should be locked up <laughs> with, with our this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> then we could finish it. I'm getting a hot flash over that. <laughs> okay, this one too. Because when we were at the attic in April, um, Grace and Lisa found this chart and we're talking about it. And I'm like, oh, I have it at home and I started it. It's a Fair Lady sampler. I love this. What is my major malfunction that I haven't finished this? What a dip. Is that like a um, Dutch sampler or what is that? I mean, you know, I don't know. Huh. I don't know. It's, you know, it's got the cottons. And, oh, there's my yeah, this huge is, start. Oh, you could even do this beautiful little flower base down there. I know. It's a like a pin cushion. There's my start. That's pitiful. Pitiful. Yeah, it is. Oh. It's on Seraphim Chai. Oh. 40 count. Let me see. You know, Kim, um... Content and Needleworker Kim was stitching something on chai, mm -hmm. and yours is beautiful like hers because I guess some chais have changed, but you have a gorgeous cut. It's probably an, yes, an older one. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna like have to pick one of these and start working on it one day a week. Oh, that's one more. Oh my gosh, I'm really making you work for your money. Okay. Here's a little one. Oh, you know what that reminds me? There, I saw on Instagram this morning, Jenny, Stitching Queen, hi Jenny, um, had a little pin cushion made out of Susanna Snudgen, and yes. that's a GGR. I have it, friends. I know. And now, you know what I thought crossed my mind this morning? I loved her little pillow. I thought I could rip that out I'm of I'm going frame. to get it off the wall. Oh, you can't reach it. Oh, I thought it was long. No. Okay, never mind. It's, I rearranged. Okay. All right, Ann Wallet, 1822. 
Look at this. Is that not fun? Melissa Sampler Nut. Yeah. Sampler Nut on Instagram. Melissa. Finish that. Oh. Yeah. I did I haven't started this one, but <sighs> show the colors. Oh yeah. Um I was gonna say something else about Grace. I mean fun. Fun, fun, fun. And then think of it like the attic conversions if you want to do a special one and have them convert it to silk. Oh my goodness. And they have a lot of these already done. And yeah, if you're looking for a GGR, go to the attic mm -hmm. and let them know mm -hmm. because they will help you. Whew. Okay, so what have we learned? We've learned that Grace has a great floss tube. We've learned that we are very negligent with Emily Griffiths. We've learned that That's you can Mary. get Mary. Yes. Yeah. We've learned that you can get silk conversions at the attic, and we've learned that one day a week I need to stitch on a GGR. Yes. So. Oh boy, that's just. But you can't. Woo. You. We have enough rules in our world yeah, and in true. our life. We cannot have stitching be a rule. True. So if you're stressed about it, then don't do it. Do. Yeah. Barry's true. got it right on here. Stitch what you love. Mm -hmm. As Sarah. That's another one. Sarah's stitching spot. I didn't bring her up. But if you're not watching her, I don't know what's the matter. Because she <laughs> has her enthusiasm and her... She is, just, de vie. she is just amazing. Her choices and her enthusiasm. And it's just wonderful. You... I watch her videos with a smile on mm -hmm. my face the whole time mm -hmm. because she's infectious. Her yes, joy. yes, her yeah, her joy for us stitching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. What else you got? Um, it's I your only turn have to do something. I have. I'm going to show some um, some Ball. stash stash and a couple things that. Oh, I got to show that. Oh, oh, and. Did you bring yours from? Yes. Okay, hold on. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to that. Okay. I have to look that up. Okay. Um, I ordered this. Mm. This is from the Wishing Thorn. She has these bags made. They're almost, I would say they're just as good as the tea towels that Nicole has made as far mm -hmm. as real life and everything. Um. Just a beautiful bag. I've gotten a couple of them from her before. Very affordable. Go check out um, the Wishing Thorn. If you can get these. Um, it, it's shipped from a third party. So Now, I saw this, and I don't know where I saw it. Hmm. And I will try to put a link on our, whoops, on our floss tube. But I won't be able to do it until tomorrow because I have to be at a desktop to do it. I don't have a desktop at home. Mm -hmm. So I will try to link this, but this is what you need to watch floss tube with. I love floss tube notebook. I love that. By Debbie D. And in here it tell it's got I'll show you. You put down the floss tube date channel name, episode number, what you need to buy. I mean, this is written for us. <laughs> we don't put the, we're not good floss tubers by putting the links down there. But mm -hmm. we disclaim that mm -hmm. at the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, this, I got on Amazon. Okay. And it's like less than 10 bucks. I love floss tube notebook. Is this not that the That was a genius thing? idea. Yes. Yes. I, and I, I'm sorry. I don't know who showed this. I wonder if this lady who wrote this book has a floss tube. I don't know. Up. I hmm. don't know. But I just think that this is awesome. Mm -hmm. It is. And look at the, I mean. I know. The graphics. Mm-hmm. So that's it. Then um, somebody who did not want to be named mm -hmm. um, did a kindness mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. And for something I did that she just wanted to show her. Thank you. So she, this, I have wanted since Teresa released it, but 
I didn't buy it. You're maintaining. Yeah. Well, that's good. So she had it all kitted oh, from nice. Country Sampler. Oh, neato. So it's, it's just beautiful. It's gorgeous. Look at the way that they package I that. Anyway, so thank you. You know who you are. She didn't want to be named. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I bet when that's done up, it's going to be yeah. spectacular. It's just, yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. So, then I got the the Cruel Goblin. You know, I'm a member uh, in their club. Mm -hmm. And they sent, I mean. Oh, that's cool. That. Oh, speaking of. What? The Cruel Goblin. Um, did you see Jean's, Miss Lennon's Instagram? Oh, yeah, I, I saw your comment, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Reese, please yes, come back. Please. She lost two. I don't know what she was away for. I yeah. don't know what that means. Yeah. Um, we don't know, but uh, she, they gathered at the Cruel Goblin, and, uh, you know, which looks like so much fun, and... Yes. Our friend Sue, Robin, and Robin, Jean. yeah, and Julie, who owns the Cool yeah. Goblin, yeah. yeah. Anyway, Reese used to do videos. I think she started before we did. I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. She has maybe five, seven. I don't know. And Reese is spelled R E E C I E. And we don't want to put pressure on her, but let's just say that her floss tubes. You should go back and watch them. In fact, I'm going to go back and watch them because she, her stitching was amazing. She picked great projects and. Um, there's rumblings that she might do a floss tube, so we hope so. Yes, we encourage. Mm -hmm. No pressure, we encourage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, anyways, so I got this That's with my fun. kid. Then, this was, this was, um, I got this. Mm -hmm. And in here, I didn't realize it at first, were all these really cool, um, oh, cool little cards. And... These little cards, like that, and like that, and that. And what they were is that uh, Robin oh. and Julie uh -huh. and Sue uh -huh. and Jean oh. all wrote little notes because oh. they were packing up. Oh. They were helping kit. pack yes. it up. And so they sent those to me. On these beautiful cards. How oh, touching. Oh my gosh. What a day that was. Yes. When you got that. Yes. You know, how wonderful. And it doesn't take long. So if you're, I don't think you can't join for this year. Yeah. It's, you know, but join for next year. It's so worth it. It's, it comes in that cute darling box. Yes. And it, um, it cleared customs really fast. So, and you open it and each month there's the new one this is the new one by needlework press and then when you get the next box this will be filled and then the last box look at that paper it's like it's got the cruel go um goblin on there i think goblin. i'm not sure but. yeah anyway so in here oh luscious is everything <gasps> mpi and the little tag it's with MPI. You get the needle and everything. And yes. this is from Needlework Press. Okay, that is one fabulous kit. And it's just, here's the tissue paper. Mm -hmm. It comes wrapped in a ribbon. See, I saved everything so I could show you guys. Mm -hmm. It was just, and yeah, school, it's called the School Girls Sewing Club. Just awesome. So awesome. awesome. So and beautiful. At some point, these will be reproduced, or you know, Vicky, you're, who all the other designers mm -hmm. will release them. But I mean, everything is included in here, and the linen is all surged. <sighs> That's amazing. And this is what's the color here? What does that say? Five o three? I think so. Gorgeous red. Yeah. Beautiful. I just love it. That is And it's fun. done on Fox and Rabbit Mayflower, 36 mm. count. I like Mayflower. Yes. So, I just love that. I'm saving all the boxes because mm -hmm. I think it's cool. It is. And the card. Mm-hmm. That's fun. Yeah. It was a lot of fun, and I encouraged 
you to join when next year rolls around. I, I will, will be joining again mm -hmm. because this is awesome. And right now our dollar is better than their Australian dollar. So not mm -hmm. that it matters, but mm -hmm. if you're thinking mm -hmm. cost. Mm -hmm. so. And what they do also, which is really great, is they include the cost the shipping in the cost so oh, you don't have nice. to worry about you know extra shipping and we don't have to pay any kind of customs charges or whatever so duty yeah duty we don't pay duty <laughs> it's a duty yes so you go okay i've got some haul okay good okay um uh, boopity boop i can't remember if i showed this before this is IAB, the Rose Bush Sampler. Um, somebody just finished it. Who just yeah. finished that? Jody, mm, Trixie mm -hmm. Tricycle. Who that? That's another one. You gotta go watch her latest video. Oh mm. my goodness! Inspiration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I knew we were. Fi I would forget people. Yeah. So. Um, and I got it kitted with the uh, Roxy Flosco mm. conversion, or actually, it was charted for this. I think. So I got that from evertote.ca. And then, okay, so we got that. And then I got the AKGIT from them. Then one day, I decided I was going to Joann's and getting a bunch of DMC. So I did. Okay. So I got, after I saw Brenda's finish of this, I was mm -hmm. like, I need that. So I ordered that and this sampler I from Scattered Seeds. Sampler, yeah. yeah. That's an older one because yes. her... Her logo, right? So I went and got the DMCs for both of those, so I can start them whenever. Finally, 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 I got the DMC for Mary Morgan's, and they're wild, wild. I, if somebody said stitch something with those colors, I'd be like, no, I will not. But every time you see somebody stitching this, it looks so good. And I think it, um, Karen and Brendan did a floss tube yesterday. I'm not. I done haven't with watched it. that one yet. Yeah. But uh, this finished sampler is behind them. I don't know if it's the antique, but okay, that's weird. But I'm telling you, it works. And it's not like you're plopping this that huge whole, bright green yeah. down on the sampler. Yeah. It'll, it's beautiful. Another one I got the DMC for is this. Dutch mini sampler from Modern Folk Embroidery. I just love that. And that looks like a fun, fun stitch. So, DMC for that. And then I got the DMC for the strawberry sampler by Wendy from The Heart Needle Art. I love this. I love that needle book, too. Oh, there's another example of a sampler, mm -hmm. a needle book, and a drum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wendy sent us these. Yes. So thank you very much, Wendy. Yes. In addition to that one, and she sent us her new one of her new little mm -hmm. samplers. So she has a series of these small mini samplers that she's taken stuff from a big sampler and put it into a smaller sampler. Mm -hmm. And my mom saw this one and she said what she wants to do, she wants to stitch some of these and then put her grandma's name in there. Oh, which that's I think a is a great idea. Which also I think she got from Lori Holt. Oh, okay. she loved all the Lori putting her grandma's names on things. And yes. So that yes. would be good for all these because mm -hmm. each one of these little samplers is just. Oh, I know. Amazing. And I have the big one mm -hmm. kitted with the Gloriana because I was nuts at the attic last summer school and said, mm -hmm. I'll get that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But she has them kitted or charted for Gloriana, Classic Color Works, and DMC. It'll mm -hmm. be stunning whichever one mm -hmm. you choose. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then uh, I got from Wendy, we got Joe Biana 1841. I love this so much. Mm -hmm. I think her latest little sampler is from this one. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Thank you so oh, much, Wendy. Thank you. Do it in NPI. And the black, black sheep, sheep sampler. sampler. Yeah. Which I thought, oh, that's not an old sampler, is it? And yes, it is. It's a reproduction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is one, too, that has a little pin key mm -hmm. there. Darling. Yeah. Oh, 
I very love talented. those so much. Very, thank very you, talented. Wendy. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Then, let's see. Okay. Then I got a little package from Hobby House of stuff I ordered. Okay. Okay. Let me just get it out. They have. I got stuff from Hobby House too. Oh, good. They have these. These are by Lori Holt. They're tape measures. Oh, that's cute. I love this so much. And I collect tape measures, as we all maybe know. So I got that. Love it. That's cute. I love that. This Sunbonnet Sue. Yeah, Sunbonnet Sue. Then um, in June, they had a retreat with Beth Twist of Heartstring Samplery. I wish I could have gone because it looked like it was so fabulous. Anyway, her theme was cross stitch and rock and roll. She designed a sampler for that retreat. And now you can get it at Hobby House. And they have it, um, they could kit it up for you also if you would like. So if you'll notice, I love that. In the cartouche, it says, what does it say? I want. I want to rock and roll, roll all night and, and cross stitch. stitch every day. <laughs> and this chair up here is supposed to kind of look like Elvis, which it does. I mean, this is so fun. Oh my gosh, so fun. And you have to look because at first glance, it looks like a reproduction. Yeah, it's got yeah. this great motif that's in Florence Mary, Mary Dickinson, mm -hmm. that tree thing. I mean, it's just genius, genius. Yeah, I love the rose. Yeah. So, um, Hobby House is the only place you can get that. Mm -hmm. Also, at the retreat, the people got this, and they're also selling this now at Hobby House. Oh, this is what I'm going to put my threads in for the um, Dutch sampler oh, okay. land. Yeah. A little bit sampler, a little bit rock and roll thread keep. Is that... Oh, it's cool. Is that cool or what? Mm -hmm. That would be great for your... Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, Beth's husband made, makes things, and this is one of the things. I mean, seriously. So you can get this at Hobby House, too, which is what I did. Yes. Isn't that just... Yeah. It's very cool. Very, very, ah! very cool. I didn't order either one of those. I can't believe that. I know. And this is one I've just been wanting, mm -hmm. and I always look at it, and I always talk myself out of it, but I was like, oh, okay. Farm and Folk Penny Cushions. Is oh, that, that's cute. Isn't that adorable? I think I have that. You probably do. Yeah. So cute. And then they had a fat half of Dirt Track by Fox and Rabbit. So I was like, oh, yes. That's one of our new favorites. Yes. Love. We'll show the one we just got um, yeah. for June. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I love that color. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah, so that was my little package from Hobby House, and that was exciting. Well... From Hobby House, I got um, I got some fabric too. This is rustic, yeah, rustic driftwood linen by XJU Designs. Do you? I don't have anything in mind. Okay, no, but did you had you ever seen it? Before? No, no. It's very Ooh, dark, but I, I like, like it. it. I really like oh, it. Oh, get out! So, I love that. Isn't that pretty? Ooh. You could do, Ooh. well, this is 40, so you couldn't. But if you got 32 mm. with the red flower thread, mm. that would, tell you, that would be very beautiful. Very, very. Maybe I'll go back and see if I can find. Okay. I don't need to. I almost got dumped on my 32 count. Thank God I didn't. You know, I got rid of a lot of 32 count myself, which was dumb. I kept all my, I had a lot of Lakeside 32. I got, I kept that. Smart. Then I got these um, from them because I just mm. think they're gorgeous. They are. Um, these are by the Artsy Housewife piece. And these are three pieces of linen, three different colors of linen. I just think that's so cool. And then Grace. I just mm. love these. Guess who just started carrying these charts? Hillside Rookery. Yes. My friend I saw Olivia. That. I saw that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you can get them there. Yeah. Please do. It helps my friend. So anyway, so I got those two in that fabric and I showed you the needle or the 
what do you call it? All that flower thread. Yeah. This came in the mail. Oh yeah, I love this. I knew you would. <laughs> but I'm telling you, this is a, a must get magazine. Beautiful, in, beautiful things in there. Finishing instructions from Vana that are just, you know, really, really good for everyone who finishes their own stuff. I hear so many people that finish say they use Vana's instructions and we are very lucky that mm -hmm. she provides it on her floss tube and then she gives you ones in here. Look at that. This is by Twin Peak Primitives. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. yeah. So I got that. I, I showed you that. Um, then we got from Crow's Feet, Ruthie. She sent us her Bristol sampler. And she sent us the little small she made with it. Yeah, which is very exciting because yes. I am all over that elephant. I love that so much. Oh, I didn't even realize that was an elephant. Yeah, see? I know. Look at that. I think um, Michelle Mama Loves You GB is stitching or stitched that elephant. Yeah, it's, and if you go to her Instagram is Crow's Feet Stitching and she has an Etsy shit shop right there and this horse on here oh that's cool i love this thank you very much Ruthie. yeah it's very 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 kind of you yeah very kind yippee then um let's see what else do we have here we'll talk about this oh shizers shizers i'll leave that one more thing i want to show because <gasps> laura oh, brought this sure. to me this is a little card, and look at that. I love that. that I forgot cute. about those. Little card, and that's Jackie, right? Uh-huh. Jackie. Oh, that's so cute. And she saw this and thought of me, and I love this. It's look a little towel, eh? Yeah. It's a little tea towel. With Scotty's. Oh, that's just. But you know what I think I'm going to do with it? Yeah. You know how everyone's got their um, little... And I'll show you another one that I got. Jewelry case that they've converted to a... Yeah. I'm going to fold it up and put it in the bottom so I can see them all the time. I mean... That is so sweet. That's sweet. Oh. So sweet. That, Thank you so much for thinking of me. Thank that you. That is just adorable. And for those wondering, our, we are going to try to get on a list to get another Scotty. Um mm by spring really so oh, her name will be Maisie May you figure out the Maisie part so that should be a given so M-A-I-Z-E-E hmm. -E. a little bit different but oh, cute anyways oh. Laura okay what? Maze <laughs> corn and maize and blue it took you too long <laughs> Uh, no, I mean I t it would have taken me forever because I wouldn't have known I mean, I know maize and blue, but I didn't. Maisie. Maisie. Mm -hmm. That is smart. What that a was cute Rick's name. idea. Because what I wanted name. something like, well, we're on a Mabel for a cat, but we're not mm. getting another cat. Mm -hmm. um, but he chose Maisie. And that I, was smart. I love that name. That's and May is, we put a middle name on all our Scotty. So, anyways, mm -hmm. that's beyond stitching. Who cares? Well, Anyhow, we obviously all are animal lovers. Yes. So. Okay. Oh, then we got this in the mail from Audrey. Yes. She stitched stitch B. She has yes. three floss tubes out. Yes. She's so cool. Yes. And guess what? In her last floss tube, she was like, well, I'm hoping to go to a retreat, my first retreat, maybe in November. So I was like, boop, 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 boop. Which one? Boop, boop. She told me. Then I said, listen, I'm going to one the end of October. It's sweater weather retreat. It's by my friend Colleen, Rebel Stitcher. It's in Philadelphia. I don't have a roommate. Not that I need one necessarily. I don't, but I was like, oh, why don't you come with me? Because I'm like, oh, that would be fabulous. And she is. Oh, good. Isn't that exciting? Oh, that's wonderful. She's never been to a retreat. Okay. So it's going to be really fun. Okay, so I'm very great. excited. That's really We're going to be roomies. 
and um, it's just going to be so much fun. That'll I, be I don't wonderful. Know. I just think she's so cool and fun, and I just want to meet her, and yes. I'm very excited. That's Oh, I'm so happy. For yeah. You. Yes. So Audrey sent a little package to Brenda's house, mm -hmm. and it's amazing. You know, Audrey, uh, her husband is a, a reporter, a broadcaster for IndyCar Radio. So they went to the 20, this doesn't have anything to do with IndyCar, but it's racing. They went to the 24 Hours of Le Mans. And so they were in France for about a couple weeks. So anyway, one of the things that she sent to us is from France. But um, one of the other things she sent to us is this very, very special thing that she stitched. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. In blue, my initial. And mine, I've already put it on my new little jewelry case. There's my B. Yeah. And red. And this is on the Wallaby fabric from Number 12 Stitch Co. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah, Thank you so much. I think she so might have put much. mine on Serial Starter. I think she did. Yeah. I think she did. She wrote and a beautiful note. She, yeah. I think she does calligraphy. And I just love it. And I put it on here so I could see it. I have, yeah. Have that. Okay. And then she, and it was so beautifully mm -hmm. wrapped, and I saved the wrapping. Mm, me too. Yeah. And she sent us these beautiful antique postcards from France. Mm -hmm. Aren't those beautiful? And mine are just right up my alley. Yeah. Look at oh, this. Yeah. And this little. Oh. I've collected some J&P coats. Um, postcard and these are going to go with those oh that's cool so, i love them thank you so yes. much thank, thank you. you thank you thank, thank you. you audrey and i'm so happy you get to meet her I'm that'll be so, so exciting excited. that just yeah. the stars aligned they really did mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's going to be fabulous in her first retreat her that'll first be great retreat. yeah that'll I, be really i like great. to see a retreat through somebody else's eyes so yeah, yeah. thank you so much and this audrey. is colleen's first um, retreat that she's putting hosting, on. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think um, I'm not sure it's in within walking distance, but the Betsy Ross House and Museum or whatever is oh, right okay. around there. So okay. that'll be cool. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. Yeah. So okay. uh, you want to do this now? Yes. Well, okay. did you bring... Oh, no, I think I forgot to bring that because I went to my mom's and I gave her hers. And okay, well, I will can talk, talk about, about it. it. I will. And okay. then did you bring this? Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, okay. So it's, we've got code things going on, so we can't forget this. Okay, so we're going to do a little discussion about Susan Stanley, A Stitch in Time. You know, she is a genius floss tuber also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she has been uh, concentrating on the time around 1840 yeah. and stitching and sewing and all kinds of things. So she has this project called First Stitches and it comes in this box. And it's going to be a series of tutorials that will teach you how to make a doll quilt like they did in 1840, like a um, mother or grandma would teach a young kid how to make this doll quilt. So we were intrigued. Very much so. And then we saw the bag that it came in, the supplies, and we we're like, oh, well, we'll do whatever it takes to get that bag. It's, I haven't even opened mine because oh. the first tutorial is going to be out, I think, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Borrowing any, right? you know. But and I just... I'm so excited. I'm I so excited. I know. Because all these things, you know, she showed you how it was going to come. And they came in these little pla um, paper packages like you would get in the general store. Mm-hmm. And, and um, hold on. I'm holding. No, go ahead and talk. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. okay. All the time. Uh, it's fine. So, oh, I know what I was going to say. I was going to say that even though the tutorials start tomorrow, they're going to be on YouTube. Yes. They're free to everyone. Yes. So you can start watching tomorrow and use your own stuff, or you can still go to Susan's website and pre-order so that she'll make you up a kit. And then you can just catch up. Yeah. It's no pressure. Yeah. And she's... 
I have sewn a quilt top before with oh. a machine. Okay. But I've never done any hand sewing, a little bit, a little bit of a quilt thing. But mm -hmm. I'm really anxious to do this. She provides you with everything. She will guide you through. She wants everyone to be successful. Yeah, she'll do what it takes to make you successful. She used 1840s reproduction fabric. Mm -hmm. So you get fabric um, and you get the batting. You get everything that you need for this, mm -hmm. except for uh, stuff that you would have at home, uh, dress making shears and a thimble. Cause mm -hmm. you know, that if she included that, then the cost would be way out of line. Yeah. As it is, the cost is affordable for this project, for what you get. It's so much. And she gives you all these threads that you're going to use um, to stitch with. This is um, a linen thread. I'm not sure what that'll be used for. Here's a 103. And then here's another 103. So we'll find out mm -hmm. as we go along. But she gives you... She wants everyone to be successful, and I think that the way her tutorials are going to work, it's you can replay them so that you get it, and if not, you can email her, and I know she will answer all your questions. Mm -hmm. So, we will have a little doll quilt when mm -hmm. we are done, and then maybe we can make more. Maybe. Ish. Maybe. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like that. I meant just what I need, another hobby. Oh, but, yeah, I know. Um, I know. It's, it's hard to take time away from stitching, but I think it'll be worth it for I this. think. I think so. And I think she's poured her heart and soul into she it. Has. And, and I just, she really thought about every little part of, of this kit. Yes. Of what would be available to the stitcher and... You can, I think she even said that you could probably do it on your machine if you want, but I want to do it. I don't, I have a machine and I'm not going to use that. No. I want to do it the way she instructs you to. What's interesting is that she said this is 1840. There were no sewing machines mm -mm. at that time. Mm -mm. Everything was done by hand. So I think that's a very interesting little fact. It's called Mary 1840, uh, um, St. Louis, a doll quilt experience. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very fun. You get that. So that first change. video tomorrow. Yes. Um, one of her videos, maybe two, one or two ago, talks about this and shows everything mm -hmm. that's in the kit. Yes. It's just she's really good. very done so much research in her history of textiles. Quilting and, yes. Yeah is just amazing. I mean, look at this beautiful bag. I mean, seriously. I love it. Love. Thank you so much, Susan. I am looking forward to making a doll quilt. Mm -hmm. It'll be yes. fun. It'll be fun. And you don't have to have it for a doll. You can, you know, have it in your stitch yeah. area mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, anyways. Okay, what else we've got? We've got this, this, and that that okay. I have. Okay. So, what, two weeks ago, we were privileged. I was privileged, and Laura. I was privileged, yes. too. Laura did not invite them. Like, shocking. <laughs> yes. I did. Yes. Um, Nicola, handmade number 12. Number 12 Stitch Co. Yes. Nicola from, from Australia. Australia. And her mother, Sandra came for a visit. They were flying out of Chicago and they came for a visit afternoon of June 25th. And Chris, I'm not going to try to pronounce your last name because I'll, Chris B, let's just say that. She's Little Bird C on Instagram. It just so happened that she was in the area as well and she stopped by and we had a nice visit with everybody mm -hmm. on June 25th. And many bunt cakes that you had. Yes, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun um, just to chat about stitching. Um, it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. We were very lucky yeah. that they made time to come here. And then Laura took them to O'Hare, which was great. Mm -hmm. And Chris, we met her husband and they were driving um, Chris had driven here across country from Oregon. No, I think she flew, and I don't know why I have to feel like correct here. She flew, oh, whatever. No, the husband flew. Yeah, to meet you're up right. With her. 
and um, they so we met her husband, mm -hmm. and um, they were driving back, and it was just a lot of fun, mm -hmm. a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And Nicola and her mom were just so much fun. Yeah. So anyhow, when she was here, Nicola gifted us a beautiful project bag mm -hmm. with our favorite Kathy yes. Holden. Look at that. I love it. Then she put in here, and this is the little blackbird just right here. Little squirrel oh, that's blackbird. Cool. Oh, yeah. And blackbird then she too. put in here. Oh, I love these. I love these floss drops. Little koala floss drops. I love them. Oh. And then she gave us some bling with little a koala. Mm -hmm. It's just so cool. And then this little zipper pull of a it? koala. Yes. It's just very, very, very nice of her yeah, to very think nice. of us. And it was just super nice. Super, super, super nice. Yeah, that was so, fun. Anyhow, I got that. And then um, I had ordered some stuff, um, some pins, from, because I needed pins for my mm -hmm. huge tomato pin cushion downstairs. Yeah, you need more. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. um, and Teresa um, from Jersey Girl Stitch Co., it's the dot com, her and her daughter make these wonderful, amazing, um, counting pins, just beautiful. And she made me, Laura, and Nancy this butterfly it's a little bling it's gorgeous this butterfly is beautiful just beautiful and i went to my mom's on july 3rd so i brought hers to her and then um, i have it in my new little um this is my new i haven't done it up at all oh i've just got stuff in here okay and some charms hanging there and whatnot but i have this in here nice so i will have mine in something yes. special too so thank you so much yes. thank you for thinking of us Teresa. Mm -hmm. your stuff is top notch it comes um beautifully packaged and her and her daughter do such a great job so anna anna and Teresa. then um lisa prims on greenway that's another one that's full of creativity totally she sent us a our word of the year. Um, mine was joy, and she mm -hmm. sent us this card tag so we could write something on here that means mm -hmm. the word to us. Mm -hmm. So, and it's and beautifully I, done. I didn't have a word of the year, so I quick thought of one. Stitch. It's perfect. <laughs> perfect. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's so cool. I just I love. She loves paper arts yes. too, and yes. it's and her writing. Um, this is a glimpse of her writing. Mm -hmm. is just um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yes, thank, thank you so much. Thank you, Lisa. Now you've got two more things that I know of to share. Okay, um, we were sent these bags. I don't want Yoda to share that. <laughs> I'll, I'll remove Yoda from the screen. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Look at this. Beautiful. Anyways, they're beautiful bags. Beautifully you, made. Yes, yeah, so you can hold them like this, and they fit a ton of stuff in there. I mean, look at that. And she made us. Oh, yeah, the orc catcher thing. Yes. I yeah. Know. There's pockets inside here, zippered pocket, and then these big grommets. It's I just, know, it's so fabulous. I mean, it's coming up on football. Mm. I watched football last night. Oh, my. It was taped. Oh, so. Okay. Let's not get curious. <laughs> All away. right. So, anyways. So. Mickey made these for us. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mickey, so much. I Thank you. I love it. Yes. It's just so well done. I cannot wait to start using yes. it. I'm going to take it in August mm. to the attic. Mm -hmm. So, Exactamundo. No one will get take mine. No. So. Here's her card. Take a screenshot of it. And 
it's so fabulous. Yeah, it's it's really really well made. Yeah, I can't um, imagine the work that goes no, into this. No, and it's heavy duty. Yeah, it's because really of the well grommets and mm -hmm. the handles. I mean, she even reinforced them with some fabric yeah. on them. So thank you, Mickey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Totally unexpected. Yeah, out of the blue. I, we can't say enough about the things that people would think of us and gift us with. I mean, it's just yeah, we're lucky. very, very lucky. lucky, very, very lucky. So thank mm -hmm. you to everyone who leaves comments, words of encouragement, all of it. Wonderful. The last thing came um, last week, and um, Laura hasn't read this note yet, mm, but okay. you can read it. Mm -hmm. And it's from Grace Notes Fabric. Oh, okay. And she and her husband, um, they watch our floss tube. And I had purchased some Grace Notes Fabric uh, from Hobby House. And so she sent us each. Wow. They sh we'll have to decide who gets who. Mm -hmm. These are the fat colors. This one is um, called Philip. There's a reason why she tells us in here why they named them um, these oh, names. She's a piano teacher, and the colors are musical terms. Yeah. Um, this is French vanilla. Okay, that one isn't. But no. And this one is Philip. Okay. So, anyways, the colors are named musical terms because she's a piano teacher, and the neutrals are named after beverages. That's cool. It's very, very nice. Oh. Thank you very much for I, thinking of us. That it's was beautiful really nice. fabric. Oh, um, yeah. Gorgeous. Very, very nice. Gorgeous. This is Philip, and then the French vanilla almost looks like um, straw flower from. Mm. Look at that. Isn't mm. that pretty? Oh, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. Perfect. So. Oh, that thank was you nice. so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will so. be very happy to try that out. Yes. That was very nice. And I can't remember. She said where she got our address. I think. Oh, from Judy of JBW Designs. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Oh, and Judy, thank you so much for sending that package to my mom of your latest Christmas ornament release. She was over the moon oh, excited. That's exciting. Yes. That's exciting. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Do we have this? You have that. I oh, put okay. mine away. This is the June Fabric of the Month from Box and Rabbit. It's called Possum. I love this color. Yeah. That love it. Good. Yeah. Good. Um, Brenda and I did a trade. We haven't gotten into it yet, but I needed some linen for this. I, I Did I already say this here or did I just tell you? Everything I'm looking at. No, you said it here. Yeah. yeah. Huge projects. Baps. Baps. Our friend Kelly finished this, and it's mm. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And I I need some linen, so we're doing a trade. A yeah. trade's going down after yes. this. Wow. I love it. Yeah, I love I to do things like that. Yeah. So, yeah. anyways. Yeah, so um, you... What are you going to work on? Okay, I don't know. I think I'm going to go home and still work on the AKGIT, at least until tomorrow. Then okay. I don't know what. Okay. I'm going to work on the Tinsdale. With the flower thread. With the flower thread. Mm -hmm. um, I do need to get back to um, Florence Mary Dickinson and get mm -hmm. that finished. Mm -hmm. And work on Brenda's and Martha Evans. I didn't pull that out, but Martha mm -hmm. Evans by the Scarlet House. Um, I, need I was to get watching that done. Peregrine Stitcher. Mm -hmm. which we've got to meet her because she's in Chicago. Yeah. And her uh, Martha Evans looks so beautiful. Good. She was like lamenting the colors were brighter than something else, but I thought it looked fabulous. I loved it. Did she choose different colors? Or no, did she, she use... got NPIs. Oh, okay. I know that's what Penny's um Yeah, using. it looks good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I think you can't go wrong with anything. So. No. Anyhow. Well, we will see you in two weeks. Mm -hmm. God willing, I'm still here. My husband... And I are having this area where we're at right now, our wood floors refinished starting Tuesday. Eek. It's going to be a disaster, but it's the best time now to do it while we don't have a pet. Mm -hmm. And so we're having it done. But if we don't kill each other before then, please don't. Be a miracle. Mm -hmm. So 
We will get through it. Yes. And we will see you in two weeks. Mm -hmm. It'll so. still be July, right? Yes. Okay. It'll be July, let's see, 19, 23rd, right? Yes, 23rd. July 23rd. Oh, yeah. yeah, July 23rd. July 23rd. July 23rd. So, get a lot of stitching done. Stay yeah. cool. Have fun. Mm -hmm. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.